Well, if you like pawn shops or you just like great television, you know the man sitting in front of me. His name is Les Gold. He's one of the stars of the show Hardcore Pawn, which is shot in Detroit. And you just shot your 94th episode for True TV. It's amazing. Uh, who would have ever thought we'd be on for so long? Uh, 94 shows, it's a milestone, almost the milestone I'm looking for. I'm looking for show 100. We'll get it shortly. What have we got? Um, a couple of antiques from the 1950s. OK. They're from old diners. He dispensed the napkins, of course, and also fortunes. You put a penny in, and you push this down, and your fortune would come out. It's really a tough business because the art of negotiation is in plain view. And I, I remember on one of the episodes, these guys brought in an uh, a old switchboard. And, and you were like, I'll give you X amount of dollars. And they said, we need a little more than that. And you went back and forth. And finally, these guys were about to leave. And you said, OK, I'll give you this. This, this is an art, right? It is. Negotiating, you know, being a professional salesperson, is one thing, but buying and selling is a whole different story. And the whole psychology of it's that. A, it's a psychology. Um, it's business. It's business. To me, it's business 101. Have, the, have, your, have an item come in. You're trying to negotiate the best price for the store. You don't deal with emotion. You know, so when somebody comes in, I'm not dealing with emotion. When I'm selling an item, you try as a professional salesman to bring that emotion out from the customer. And that's the hardest thing to train my employees, my children, is take the emotion out of it when you're buying it, bring in the emotion when you're selling it. Hmm, interesting. So uh, how do you, with a competitive business like this, do you have regrets? Do you have items that you're like, oh my goodness, I let that go. That could have been a pretty penny. We deal with a thousand items. You're going to lose some. You know, whether I go up that extra 10%, whether I go up that extra $5, is a judgment call that I have to make. That's, that's the hardest part of being a pawnbroker. Did you make the right call? Did you not make the right call? And as you watch the show on, you know, that's on every Tuesday, you'll, you'll see me negotiate. You see my employees negotiate. Then when push comes to shove, they call in the best negotiator, me. How do you know the value of these items? I mean, you've been in the business for a long time, but at some point, you have to be doing research and figuring out. How do you do that? Seth does it. Um, I have employees that go to the internet. You know, one of the best tools is the internet. You can find out a lot of things about merchandise, but we're pawnbrokers. You know, we deal with people that are in need of money. We deal with people that want to buy merchandise less expensive than they, than they can buy on the internet, that they can buy at this shop next door. So we're very competitive. Um, we do our homework. We can't let our homework take too much time because you can't spend very, a, a lot of time taking care of one customer. You have 100 more in line. So if you watch the show, all our deals are quick. You know, a couple minutes, five minutes at the longest. I kind of fell on hard times last year and lost my house. And, oh, uh, I'm sorry to sorry. hear that. And I'm looking to get as much as I can for it, trying to get a place to live. So why don't we test it to see if it even works? Test it. So you need to unlock it? That's probably not. And a lot of things have happened uh, since your family got into this business. The internet came along, as you mentioned. You got eBay. You have all of these different channels uh, that people are selling things on. Uh, what, how has the business changed since you started? And what is the threat, possible threat, to the pawn industry? Well, the pawn industry is strong. Uh, the pawn industry has been in business, businesses for 3,000 years. Went from China till it went to Italy 300 years ago, the Medici's, the, Rosen, the Rosenthal's. They, they all brought it to, to light. Uh, now we've brought, because of the show, Hardcore Pawn, we have brought it to the world. We're huge in Australia, we're huge in the UK, and so as long as we can stay a step ahead, and people now know how cool it is to come to the pawn shop. You know, in the old days, pawn shops were frowned down upon. Hmm. We had, you know, people thought of us as uh, drug dealers and, and things that were stolen, and that uh, was our normal customer. Now, because of the TV show, they realize that it's, we're in the forefront. You want a great deal? When the economy went bad, the people that were making a lot of money realized they couldn't go to the mall store. They couldn't go to the jewelry store, the, the high-end jewelry stores. Where are you going to go? They're coming to the pawn shop. So we've seen a tremendous increase in business because of the TV show. All right, you heard it all the way from Detroit. Thank you, brother. Mr. Les Gold, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. And with Les Gold, I'm Lee Hawkins.
We'll see you next time. Brick and mortar is the bread and butter that, I, that I've always known. But Seth is bringing, after 10 years of being in the business, he's bringing in new technology that I'm really not used to. And it's hard for me to change. If he can show me profit, I can change. Best training for doing this show was not being on the news for 10 years. The best training was being in politics for 10 years.